Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on CentOS 7. Okay, so to get started here, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install PHP. So to do so, I'm going to type in sudo yum install PHP and I'll click enter and when prompted, pop in your password for sudo. Okay, so now this should go off and fetch what we need for the PHP install. Okay, if prompted, just press Y here to begin the installation. And I'll just pause the video while this installation runs. Okay, perfect. We can see that this has now run successfully. So we just need to install one more PHP package to make sure our WordPress installation goes successfully. So I'm going to install PHP MySQLi. So to do so, I'm going to type in sudo yum install php hyphen my sqli and i'll hit enter here and again this will go off and fetch what we need so once it's done i'll press y here to install and we can see that's now installed for us here okay now that we've done that we now need to set up our database for wordpress to do so you'll need to have maria db installed on your centos server or another database equivalent I have a video on how to install MariaDB, which I'll link below. So if you don't have MariaDB installed, you can watch that and come back to this point. Okay, so the first thing I want to type in here is my SQL minus U root minus P. And it's going to pop in my password here for my database and I'm in here. So what I want to do is I want to create database and we'll call it WordPress and close that off with a semicolon. Perfect, so we can see that's done now. So I just have the privilege command on the clipboard here. So let me just paste this in. So we're gr gonna grant all privileges on WordPress to WordPress user at localhost identified by password 123. If you were using a live system, you wanna make sure you put in a complex password here. But since this is a, such a test, we're just gonna go with this and I'm just gonna click enter here. Perfect, and the last command I want to type in here is flush privileges. Perfect, and we've done that now. So let me just exit my MariaDB. Okay, now that we've done that, we need to get WordPress itself. So let me just clear this screen here, it's getting a bit cluttered. So the first thing we're going to type in is going to type in sudo wget and I have the URL here just on the clipboard again, so I'll just paste this in. So it's wordpress.org forward slash latest.tar.gz and then click return. Okay, so why this is downloading, I'm just going to pause the video here. Okay, perfect. We can see that latest.tar.gz has downloaded for us. So let me just type in ls here and we can see we have latest.tar.gz. Perfect. So what I'm going to type in next now is sudo tar minus zxvf and then latest dot tar dot gz and you can use tab completion just to tab that out and then I'll hit return and we can see that's done for us now. So let me just type ls and you can see we now have a WordPress directory here. So I'm now going to move that into my Apache directory. If you haven't got Apache installed, I have a video that shows you how to do that and I'll link that below. So be sure to watch that if you don't have Apache installed and come back to the video at this point. Okay, so what I'm going to type in here is sudo mb wordpress and I'm going to move it into var www html which is our Apache document root. Okay, that looks like that's done for us there. So I'm just going to copy a few commands in here to save me doing some typing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in this command, which I'm going to change the ownership on the WordPress folder to the Apache user and the Apache group. And I'm going to click return. Perfect. So there's one more I'm going to copy and paste in here, which is to do with SE Linux. Sometimes I disable SC Linux um, as it can be overkill, but in this case, I'm gonna show you just how you can allow WordPress to work with SC Linux. So it's this command here, sudo 
chcon rv type httpd sys rewrite content and the directory var www.html wordpress and i'm going to click enter so i'll also uh, leave a link to where you can access all these commands so you can just copy and paste them in as you go following along with this tutorial okay so we're getting there now so one last thing we need to do is we need to configure apache to look in that wordpress directory for us so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to type in sudo by forward slash etc forward slash httpd conf forward slash and then httpd.conf okay and once you're in here you're looking for the document root so i'll just scroll down here now until i find it perfect so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press i to go into insert mode i'm going to put a forward slash here and i'm going to type in wordpress because that's our wordpress directory so once i've done that i'll press escape to come out of insert mode press colon w q for right quit explanation mark and then i'll click enter so now that we've done that we just need to restart apache by typing in sudo service httpd restart and we've now restarted apache so all our config changes will be picked up by apache okay great we're just there now so what i'm going to do is i'm now going to go to my browser i have firefox on the system here okay so we can see uh, firefox has started and i'm going to navigate to localhost okay it looks good so we see we have our wordpress set up config here so i'm just going to leave the language as english united states you can select the language that works for you and i'll click continue okay so let's just check here database name we have database username we have database password we have database host and um, is localhost and table prefix we'll just use the default because it's only one wordpress installation so let's click this let's go link so database name is wordpress perfect so we for the username we went with wordpress user password was password123 again if you're using this as a live wordpress site you want to make sure you have a secure password database host is our local host and table prefix we can leave as is and i'm going to click submit okay it all looks good so now let's click run the install okay and it's looking good now so i'm just going to call this darren's test site uh, darren for my username password i'll just set a non-safe password here just because it, this is a tutorial again always be sure to set strong passwords on live systems okay i'm just going to type in darren at darren.com and let's click the install wordpress and see what happens okay and it looks like it's been installed success let's go to our login and i'm just going to type in darren as my username and my password that i set perfect and we're in you can now see we've installed wordpress on centos 7. if you'd encountered any difficulties following along with this tutorial be sure to comment below and if i can help i certainly will and for more videos like this be sure to subscribe thanks